What is going on guys, Five here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we got Favre as our Rule Breakers SPC, the first one that we have got. And this one is coming in at an 84 and 83 rated squad. The 83 rated squad requires one inform and then the 84 rated squad requires I think two 85 rated cards. So quite easy to put together for a card that is really, really well balanced. The design on the cards is absolutely gorgeous as well. Fab rate is coming with 87 pace, 85 dribbling, 84 shooting, 85 passing, and 79 physical. I don't actually know what they've dropped on him. Maybe defending. He's got four sus skills with a three star weak foot. He has 5'11, high medium work rates, and he is left footed. In terms of traits, he's got outside foot shot, he's got flair. Not really anything too important though, because you can do the Travella shots by now holding just L2. So it is kind of irrelevant that he does have the outside foot shot. Um, this card is quite good because it links to a lot of cards. That are very meta. Varan, uh, Kimpembe, two cards that are really good right there. Hakimi, he links to him. Uh, the Fofana links to that card as well. And going forward with our player reviews, we're actually going to play one game on next gen and one game on old gen with the card to get a real feel for how good they are on each version of the game. But Favre looks really good, okay? Um, you know, we've already talked over the base card stats. He's got high medium, he's 5'11, he's got 79 physical. So hopefully he's got decent strength. Let's actually take a look at his in-games now. Oh my God. That is actually a really good card. So he's got 93 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, 84 attack positioning, 83 finishing, 84 shot power, and 86 long shots. He's also got 91 penalties. He's got 88 vision with 87 crossing, 85 short pass, 77 long pass, 91 curve, 82 agility, 78 balance, 84 reactions, 85 ball control, 87 dribbling and 85 composure. His defensive stats, whilst they're not the best, aren't actually too bad for like a box to box. He's got okay defensive awareness, okay stand tackle and okay interceptions. So if you don't want to play in that box to box role, you probably could get away with it. His jumping's quite poor, but his stamina is really good at 83. His strength is really good at 86. Aggression is low at 61. Now looking at this card straight away, obviously we're playing at the first game on next gen. This card looks like you can make him lengthy, looking at his agility and then his strength. So let's quickly go over to Futbin and take a look if they've got him on there, but they might not have him yet. Let's uh, just quickly go here like that. And then let's go over to Futbin and let's have a look real quick. So it doesn't look like they've got him yet. Um, how do you spell his name? Five Ray. Have they got him? Yes, they do, nice, okay. So, doesn't have his, um, Oh, you can't even change the chemistry styles on him. Okay, let's look at his normal card. So he's been given plus three. What's he lost then? I don't actually know what he's lost, but we can probably do it from here. Um, with an architect, no, no, no opportunity there. You know, you can see here that he's explosive by default, but he's got 86 strength now and then only 82 agility. So once you do apply um, an architect to him, he's definitely going to be lengthy. We'll check it in game. Obviously, um, Fuckbin haven't got the actual things ready right now, so that is a bit disappointing. But as we go back to the game, we can see that he has a few alternate positions as well. He can play cam and he can play right wing, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, once you apply an architect to this card, I'm almost certain that he becomes lengthy. So we're gonna apply an architect. We actually need to go and buy one. Um, so we'll do that now real quick. And then for, you know, for this card as well, we will try him on old gen, but we'll probably change the chemistry style for old gen. Um, and we'll adjust that accordingly, you know, so don't stress about that. I have got you old gen players covered as I know a lot of you guys do still play old gen and I understand why completely. Even if you do have the, the next gen consoles, I think old gen is still probably the better game. So I get why a lot of you guys are doing it. But yeah, we've got the architect now um, and let's go back here. Let's go to fuck champs and let's apply the architect to him just to see what it actually does to his in games. So here we go. Right, go down there, chemistry styles, we've got our architect now. It's actually suggesting the architect for him as well. So once you do apply that, he's gonna go up to, uh, he goes up to 99 strength, and he goes up to 96 vision, 99 short pass, 81 long pass, and a 99 curve. His shooting stats are already quite good. And I think we're gonna play him as a striker in the 4-1, the 4-4-2. So yeah, that's how we're gonna set up, guys, just like that there. Let's get into a few games of champs and see how he plays. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout, get yourself a 5% discount. 
All right, guys, into the first game we go with Favre. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like 20 in-game minutes. Then we'll go into highlights because if I'm going to show you um, both old gen and next gen, I want to show you like some live gameplay for both. So, yeah, that's how we're going to do it for this one. There's Suarez. Modric is there as well. Oh, Suarez, go on. Nice from Modric there too. Here's Favre. Oh, dear. Them step overs didn't feel too clean. Yeah, it's a cheap card though as well, so we have to take that into account. Suarez into Favre. Favre! Oh, good finish to be fair. Really good uh, fake shot there as well to get into that space. I'm just hoping that he does feel quite strong uh, because on, on his card he's got, you know, 99 strength now with the Architect applied. And we'll be able to see if he's lengthy here. And he does feel lengthy, yeah, he is definitely... Array. Oh my god. What a goal. This guy's going to leave, guys. So we'll just get into another game straight away with this card. All right, guys. Game at number two with Favre. Let's see how we get on this one. So the first game went really, really well. This guy's got Sui. I can see Sui already. So yeah, let's get this over to... Is this Favre here? Yeah, it is. Oh, he felt really fast there. You can see he's lengthy 100%. I'm going to try and finish him because he's got good curve. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Yeah, complete this SBC on uh, new gen. This guy is a Fortnite player, so he's not going to be that good at the game, but oh my word. Wow. I am actually kind of shocked that that's gone in. Flare shots aren't that good this year. Like, they're good, but they're not they're not good good. So to see that nestle like that, Suarez, you're passing. I get it, you're a striker. You probably shouldn't be playing right mid, but Offer me a little bit more, man, please. Thank you. Has he got Park? Is that Park I see there? Looks like him. Just going to run into that space there. Nice, oh, good defending Prenzel. Presnel, even. Here he goes. Oh, Rashford, find that. He feels like he's got like a really good body type because he feels quite strong. Obviously, he's going to with the Architect applied, right? Come on, around. Get to that, please. My king. Right, send Rashford on that run. Let's see if Favre can find that. He should be able to very easily. It's a lovely pass. Rashford is up against Virgil here, though, so we're actually going to go back. Favre! Oh, my God. I don't think that was going in, but what a deflection. And it's 2-0. Power shot from Favre there. This card's very, very clean, guys. For, for a card that's coming in at, what, 40k to complete? This one's cool, man. I like this card a lot. Here he is again. Oh, 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 he's so unlucky. He feels so good. On, on, on new gen, he feels insane. I don't know if he's going to feel this good on uh, on old gen. You know, we'll obviously have a look. He just feels like really, like, he's one of them lengthy players, right, that we haven't actually experienced so far on FIFA 23, on, on, on new gen. He's like, he's got really good dribbling, then he's also got really good passing, Good shooting, and he shouldn't be allowed to be made lengthy based on his like base card stats, you know? Oh, Suarez. Okay, guys, I'll bring back some highlights though. That's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Great stuff from Favre there as well. This guy's going to leave. Let's get on to old gen. Alright guys, so as we move over to Old Gen, we're currently 5-0 in playoffs and we are using an engine on Favre on Old Gen um, as I feel like we need his agility and balance up. Of course, he's going to be playing striker alongside Marcus Rashford on Old Gen as well. We want to test that with sprint boost over here and stuff like that. So yeah, um, obviously really, really positive from uh, next gen. But yeah, let's see how he gets on here. Uh, we'll probably show you like 20 to 30 in-game minutes again and then we'll go into highlights for this one too. Okay. Now, on old gen, it's a lot more important to have good dribbling um, in comparison to on next gen. We want to try and make every player strong and lengthy. So it'll be interesting to see what we get out of Favre here. Nice play here. Nice play. Oh, that sprint boost. Did you see that? He's got to score that mind. What's your finesse like over here then, Favre? Oh, my God. He feels insanely good on the ball. Favre! Oh, my God. He's almost scored another finesse shot. Two and two almost. Oh, so unlucky. Please, Mendy. Please, someone. Win that, someone. 
I know it's Varane, but someone still. Modric, find that. What a pass. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, Rashford. Oh, my God. Oh, he's moving the keeper. It doesn't matter, though. Favre's there. 1-0. Favre made that as well. Good pass from Modric. Into Favre. And I think on old gen, he's become, going to become more of like the provider. Um, you know, on next gen, he's more of a um, just like kind of powerhouse almost. But on, man, he looks so fast when he gets going. He is again. Oh man, he feels unbelievable here too. I mean, oh my word. Oh my word. You guys are seeing the same stuff I'm seeing. This card is brilliant. This card is absolutely bonkers good, guys. Holy smokes. Turn it over to Thierry Oi. And to Favre again. Provider again, maybe. Go back into him. Shot cancel. Oh, Favre. Oh, he's got to score that as well. I mean, we got lucky again, but oh my word. This path rate is honestly brilliant. I might just keep you here for all of this, guys. You know, you're getting to see how good this card really is. And yeah, whilst he was good on next gen, he is levels here, I have to say. Very, very impressive. Oh, that's poor from Rashford, that is. Oh no, oh, no, what's going on with my players? Ah, we've got that, no problem. Good defender, Lorente. Oh, Rashford, you're passing, man. That's the thing why I like Favre as a striker, though, right? Because he's got really good passing. And weak foot is kind of irrelevant on FIFA now because of the Traveller shots. Rashford, wake up, please. You want me on that plane if you're not careful, pal? Nice, Kessie. Oh, here's Favre again. What a tackle that is from Rafa. This guy's a decent player, man. He's a decent player. He's been absolutely battered by Favre and Kolo. Nice, Kimpembe. Never mind. Almost not nice. I was sure over the top slightly then, Favre. Not very good. Okay, so he can't do over the tops too well. His passing on um, next gen, though, was really good, so. Nice. Look how good his dribbling is, though, guys. That's me being greedy there, trying to get it back to Favre and get another goal for him. All right, guys, tell you what, we'll bring it back to highlights from here on out as well. Oh, that's nice. Let's look at his dribbling abilities, man. Favre! Oh, good save. Here he is, short here. Sprint boost with him into the finesse. Maybe. Oh, Favre! Oh, guys, this card is unbelievable. This card is absolutely broken. All right, guys, so review done on Romain Favre. I have to say, guys, that this card is completely different on both generations of the game. You know, on next gen, you can make him lengthy, make him a very powerful player. On old gen, he's a completely different beast to the one that he is on next gen. He's very, very good on the dribbling side of things on old gen. And we actually applied an engine to him to boost up his dribbling even more because I feel like it's really important to have that on old gen. First of all, let's talk about next gen. So this card over on next gen is more of a brute, a bit of a powerhouse. Um, we put an architect on him for next gen and he was lengthy with that applied. Didn't actually say it on Futbin, but you could feel by the way he was running that he was lengthy. And with that 86 strength, the okay dribbling stats, even then on the newer version of the game, absolutely brilliant really really strong really aggressive really powerful um, and exactly what you kind of want on this game you know his passing's really good already um so you're able to allow him just to have the architect on and he's able to play over the top he's able to play the through balls he's strong enough to be able to hold the ball as a striker um, he's basically a better version of the kulisevsky we got on next gen in my personal opinion he plays quite similar to kulisevsky but he's just a bit better everywhere basically that's the only way I can really describe him on next gen. Um, and yeah, he's really well rounded, a really cool card actually. Um, he's nice and tall at 5'11. He's got alternate positions, which are good as well. You know, Cam's a really good alternate position, position for Favre. And yeah, guys, I really enjoyed using him on next gen. You know, he's basically the the more, you know, as I know I've said Kulosevsky, but he's kind of similar to like a Haaland, but with better passing and dribbling. Obviously, nowhere near as good shooting wise, but he is quite similar to Haaland. 
Obviously, the four star skills as well. Didn't really have an issue with his weak foot. We were traveling. Was that the right way to say that? We were doing outside the foot shots quite a lot with Favre, and they were working an absolute treat, as you would have seen from the gameplay. Really like this card on next gen. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 for next gen. Now, guys, as we move over to old gen, we played one game of him here on old gen, and he is brilliant over here as well. His dribbling, he's, he's a completely, completely different player to next gen on old gen. You know, he, he's absolutely head and shoulders different. On, as I said, obviously on next gen, he's more of a powerhouse. On old gen, he's so good dribbling wise. He feels like Messi on the ball, but he's also got the strength over here as well. And his finesse shots are broken. You would have seen that from the gameplay as well. Um, and you can basically play this card anywhere across the front line. You know, we played him at striker a little bit. We played him at left mid a little bit. I don't think playing him at right mid is a good idea because obviously he's got a three-star weak foot. But if you want to play him wide, he's really good there because of his strength. And that's why I like Kulisevsky out wide because he had a decent amount of strength and he was able to hold off quite a lot of the players or the fullbacks. Fafre can also do that as well. So if you want to try that out, absolutely go ahead. It works really well. But as I said, on old gen, he's a lot more of a dribbler. His sprint boost is bonkers. Um, his general shooting on old gen as well is obviously brilliant. Uh, and he feels a lot, lot better than on next gen with his dribbling and turning. Of course, we know that on next gen, the dribbling is really poor. But over here, he can dribble an absolute treat. Really good R1 dribbling, really good left stick dribbling, uh, good sprint boost, as I've already said. And his passing is also really good as well. You know, you can do over the tops, maybe not too extensive. You know, you can't find the ones that De Bruyne would be able to find or like a Modric or a Kroos. But he's able to do the small over the tops, like the wing backs and stuff like that. His general pass outside of that is really good as well. You know, his short pass is already really good. And of course, you've got an engine on him, on him here as well. The reason for the engine here is, you know, we want to boost up that balance and agility, which is what we managed to do with the engine applied. Again, a little boost in the pace. Take him up to 91 pace. And yeah, he was brilliant on old gen, man. Probably better on old gen than he was on next. And I'm probably going to give him a 9 out of 10 for old gen. Guys, I think this is a must-pick-up card for 40k. You'd be silly not to get him. He's a better version of Kulisevsky. A lot better on old gen than Kulisevsky as well. Where I think this card is also really viable on next gen. Because you can make him lengthy. Guys, let me know what you think of this card. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to never miss a player review. Guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.